calendar blocking is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. I create blocks of time in my calendar for every activity, routine, and event. Time can easily slip away and sometimes even when you sit down with an idea of doing something, it just isn't enough. I schedule in my morning routines, my breaks, my meals, my workouts. Even if something doesn't have a time attached to it, I will block it into my calendar anyway. I'm definitely still an analog person. I use a bullet journal and I plan to move into a paper calendar in 2021, but I use my Google Calendar to kind of complement that. But I will give you a peek into my Google Calendar to show you what my system is like. So I schedule my day from when my alarm goes off in the morning, and I have it until I plan on decompressing for the night. That doesn't mean that I block out every waking hour, but I give myself kind of a blueprint of what I want my day and my week to look like. So while still offering a little bit of leeway to not get like overly stressed out. Different calendars for different activities. And I'm a color coder by nature, so it looks more appealing to me when I know at a glance what it means. So my calendars are like appointments. I have breaks that I put in, uh, necessities. So like my routines and meals, outside learning. So I have school and I have social and work and workout. So I schedule in my general admin time for the day. That's the time I set aside to go over my plan and do a few miscellaneous tasks. I schedule my workouts in. It helps me actually get it done since I'm not going to the gym since C19. All of the workouts I do are online. I try to look for workouts I want to do during my admin time or during one of my breaks and just paste the link into the event itself. That way when the time comes up in my calendar, I don't have to waste the time looking for a workout to do and it cuts out the decision fatigue. I have my meals and routines. If I'm planning on cooking something, I try to set aside a little bit more time. If I only have to heat up leftovers, I just keep it short. Obviously, I schedule in my classes. I also schedule in study time and office hours. And again, if there is a Zoom link, I will pop it in the description. It saves me from coming through the email or the syllabus like five minutes before. It may seem a little bit extra, but it really does help me keep on top of things and let me know when I need to move on to something else. I don't have to find time in my day to do something because I've likely already scheduled it in. People do the similar time blocking in bullet journals and planners as well. Um, but the reason that I like Google Calendar is that I can move things around if I need to. If something is taking less time than I think, or I want to take more time doing something, it's easy to drag an event around. If I want to move something to another day, it is just a drag and drop. There's a thing called Parkinson's Law, which basically states that work will expand to fill the time that you've set aside for it. So it's easy for time to slip away when we do the task, but when we schedule a time and we know we have to move on to something else, it makes it easier to get everything done. So like this video if you enjoyed, and please be sure to subscribe. I really appreciate it so, so much. Happy blocking.